Hello everyone, welcome to 6th video of NEET PG recall question discussion. A patient following road traffic accident presented to ER with eye opening with pain, inappropriate words and withdrawal on painful stimulus was found on examination. What is the GCA score? Eye opening with pain means eye opening with pain means GCA score is E is 2, E2. Verbal response is inappropriate words mean V3 and best motor response is withdrawal from pain means M4. So, in this case GCS will be E2 V3 M4. So, the answer is E2 V3 M4. Very important questions for competitive exam, especially this GCS scoring. Next, coming to question number 52 HIV positive patient with multiple skin lesions. See the typical umbilicated lesion. And the image may not be exactly similar. Uh, image was slightly different. Face and neck shows multiple amplicated lesion. This was nothing but disseminated molluscum or molluscum contagiosum with amplicated nodules all over the body in a immunocompromised patient. Coming to question number 53. Which chemical in hair dye causes this manifestation? This is allergic contact dermatitis. So, this is nothing but allergic dermatitis allergic contact dermatitis because of which thing yes it is balsam of peru no not balsam of peru it is ppd so ppd in the hair dye ppd means paraphenyl diamine so this paraphenyl diamine in the hair dye causes contact leukoderma allergic contact dermatitis okay so, a 54 female patient with multiple sex partner presented with BC urea. Gram stains of urethral discharge was there, histopathological image. You, here you can see multiple kidney shaped diplococci arranged in intracellularly. So, intracellular kidney shaped gram negative diplococci. So, this is suggestive of which infection? Yes, it is suggestive of gonorrhea or Nigeria gonorrhea. So, what is the drug of choice? In case of gonorrhea, the drug of choice will be ceprexone. So, the answer is ceprexone. Next, coming to question number 55. Trap driver, painless penile ulcer and painless inguinal lymph lymphopathy. Diagnosis, definitely straightforward. It is syphilis. Syphilis, syphilis ulcer is painless. Also, lymphadenopathy is also painless. In case of chancroid, it is H ducrei, but it is painful. It is so answer will not, will not be chancroid, not lymphogranuloma venerum. The answer will be syphilis. Coming to question number 56, child presented with microcephaly, low IQ, NCCT brain shows periventricular calcification diagnosis. So, microcephaly, periventricular calcification is suggestive of congenital CMB infection. Here you can see periventricular calcification around the ventricle in NCCT brain. So, periventricular calcification, intracranial calcification along with some mental disability, microcephaly, these are suggestive of congenital CMB. Other features include chorioretinitis, sensory neurohearing loss, seizure, hepatosplenomegaly, etc. So, the answer is congenital CMB. Coming to question number 57, 45 year old male working in a cement factory, a known smoker diagnosed with mesothelioma. So, which substance exposure resulted in this condition? So, cement factory there is chance of exposure of asbestos and the mesothelioma is most specific cancer that is related to long term exposure to um, asbestos. So, it is asbestosis type of pneumoconiosis in long term cases patient can develop pleural mesothelioma. Coming to question number 58. HIV positive patient, uh, bronchoalveolar lavage, bomori methanamine silver stain shows crescent shaped appearance or crushed ping pong ball appearance. This is crease, multiple crescent shaped structure or crushed ping pong ball appearance. This is suggestive of pneumocystis zerobesi or PCB, pneumocystis carini pneumonia in a immunocompromised patient. This is a type of opportunistic infection. So, HIV positive patient with pneumocystis zerobesi pneumonia, pneumocystis carni pneumonia, showing crescent shape structure or crushed ping pong ball appearance, crushed ping pong ball in Gomori 
मिथानामिन स्टेन ठीक है प्लस पिन कम बल एपियरेंस नेक्स्ट कमेंट क्वेश्चन नंबर फिफ्टी नाइन सीजोफ्रेनिया पेशेंट नट रेसपन्डिंग टू थरिडाजिन और हेलोपेरिडल स्टार्टेड ऑन ड्राग ए सो द पेशेंट वज रेजिस्टेंट टू टिपिकल एंटीसाइकोटिक पेशेंट स्टार्टेड ऑन सामथिंग ड्राग ए मीन सामथिंग एटिपिकल एंटीसाइकोटिक ड्राग उथ ए ड्राग ड्राग उथ सैड इफेक्ट अफ सायलोरिया डिजलिपिडिमिया हाइपार ग्रेसिमिया सो इट शु एज पेशेंट इज रेजिस्टेंट टू टिपिकल एंटीसाइकोटिक साम एंटी टिपिक सम एटिपिकल एंटीसाइकोटिक उथ साच साइड इफेक्ट मेटाबोलिक साइड इफेक्ट वज एडेड सो हुईच कैन वि द्रग दैट कैन कज सच टाइप अफ मेटाबोलिक सीमटम दैट इज क्लोजापिन सो द क्लोजापिन एट द एंसार एनदार इम्पर्टेंट साइड इफेक्ट अफ क्लोजापिन इज ए ग्रेनुलोसाइटोसिस सो यू हैव टू चेक सी बी सी ऑन ए रेगुलर बेसिस टू चेक द नम्बर अफ टोटल डब्ल्यू बी सी न्यूट्रोफिल सिक्सटी ए पेशेंट अफ क्रनिक पैंक्रेटाइटिस उथथ माल्टिपल कैलकुलई इन द पैंक्रेटिक डार्क उथथ टेन सेंटीमिटार डायलिटेशन अफ द पैंक्रेटिक डार्क व्हाट इज द ट्रिटमेंट अफ चएस येस इट इज लैटरल पैंक्रेटिको जिजोनोस्टमी अल्सो नोन एज पिस्तो प्रसिड्यूर सो दिस इज दी दिस माल्टिपल स्टोन इन द पैंक्रेटिक डार्क एंड हेयर दिस इज जेजुनम एंड दिस इज पैंक्रियास वन लैटरल पैंक्रेटिको जिजोनोस्टमी Uh, operation has been done for drainage and this uh, this also chain of leg appearance is also important this appearance is found in chronic pancreatitis with multiple stone in the pancreatic duct segmental narrowing and dilatation of the duct and uh, when the duct is more than 6 mm this is good for pancreatic duct okay so the answer is lateral pancreatic genostomy so in the next video i'm going to discuss question number 61 to not 70 61 to 80 thank you very much for watching stay tuned for the next video